guys, it's Todd. welcome to ATSK Tutorials, and this is another episode of Unity Quick Tips. Today's quick tip is going to be going over the difference between uh, local position and global position, or also uh, global rotation and local rotation. So it goes for the same with rotation and position. Uh, but first I'm going to explain position because that's a little bit easier to explain. But before I can explain either of those, I need to explain what a parent and a child is. Um, so as you can to use as an example, I have two cubes uh, next to each other. There's nothing special about these cubes. Um, so to make one of these cubes a child of the other cube, we just drag and drop it in the hierarchy over top of the other cube. And now, as you can see, we got this little folder doohickey right here. So this cube is the parent and this cube is the child. So when we take the parent and say rotate it or uh, move it, uh, that child game object is always going to follow. But when we take the child game object and say rotate it or move it, it doesn't affect the parent because the position and rotation of the child doesn't affect the parent, but the position and rotation of the parent does affect the child. So let me uh, minimize that and let me show you kind of what it looks like in code. So the first line, two lines of code that we're going to look at is transform.position and transform.localPosition. So transform.position is going to give you back a vector 3 that represents wherever that game object is in real world 3D space, regardless of where its parent is. So let's say uh, we take the two cubes and this cube is at 1, 0, 0, and this cube is at 0, 0, 0, and you make this cube a child of this cube. So this cube is the parent. When we move this this cube around, this cube is going to follow. So let's say we move it two over, and now we are at three zero zero. This one is going to be at two zero zero in world space, but in local space, it's still going to be at. Well, I guess that would technically be negative one zero zero because that's its local position relative to its parent, but. In world space, it doesn't matter where its parent is going to be. Uh, the parent is going to change the position and rotation of that game object, but after that change, transform.position is going to return uh, you that position after it has been changed and just exactly where it is in 3D space, not relative to its parents. Uh, and then let's take a look at transform.rotation and transform.local rotation. These are almost exactly the same as transform.position and transform.local position, just with a rotation. So when we have a rotation like this game object's looking this way, and we make it a ch child of a game object that's looking this way, and then we rotate this game object up like that, this other game object is going to follow. So it's the exact same thing. Transform.rotation gives us back the rotation in real world 3D space completely regardless of its parent, but after the fact that uh, its parent has rotated its child according to its own rotation. And then transform.local rotation is going to give you back the rotation of that game object according to the grid, uh, or according to the axes of that uh, parent's game object. So another way that you can kind of imagine this is a grid. So if you have ever taken an algebra, algebra class, uh, you probably know how an X and Y graph works, and then you have like a grid. Uh, so just imagine an X, wait no, X, Y, and then also a Z graph. So it's actually a 3D graph that shows you a position in world space. And then so say you want to plot something at say 333 3, 3 over here, and then you uh, rotate the parent game object, that entire grid where you plotted the child is going to rotate with that game object, but it's still going to be on the same spot in that grid, it's just that that grid has been rotated. So that's kind of a way that you can visualize it. Uh, the next line of code that I want to talk about is transform.localScale, because there's no such thing as transform.scale. And that's because it's really, really weird and hard to stretch something uh, not according to its local axis. Like you're gonna have to kind of just play around uh, inside of Unity to kind of get an idea of what I mean. But if you uh, if you stretch something according to its local axis, so let's say we have a cube that's kind of rotated down in that direction, and then we stretch it really long like that, 
it would get really skewed if then we stretched it on uh, the global x, y, and z axis. So really the only feasible way that we can measure uh, look or scale is to only do it as local scale because things would just get really skewed and really messy if we had a scale and local scale. Just mathematically, it would turn into a mess. So that's why we only have local scale. Oh, another thing I didn't mention about local position, local rotation, and well, I guess kind of local scale, is that if they, if that particular game object does not have a parent, it's just going to return you uh, regular world space or world rotation. Uh, the next line of code I want to quickly go over is transform.parent, and um, transform.parent is a transform. So when you write down transform.parent, it returns you a transform of the game object that is the parent. So that is how you figure out, or uh, if you want to find the transform of the parent of a game object or change it. You can say transform uh, dot parent equal game object dot find with tag player uh, dot transform or something along those lines. And then that way, then you can set the parent of a particular game object to be the player. So then it will move around with the player. I don't know what a good example of that would be. Like maybe if you want to put a hat on your player, just something like that. So I think that will pretty much sum up the difference between uh, local and world space. So yeah, until my next episode, I'll see you guys later and keep making games.